Well, an interstate wreck totaled nearly all of the barbecue equipment for one Texas team headed to Memphis. But when it appeared hopeless, the greater barbecue cooking family offered hope. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broder is live in downtown Memphis. And Brad, nothing like a little southern hospitality. Uh, certainly, indeed, that Southern hospitality. Well, instead of cooking here in Memphis, leaders with a cackle and oink barbecue team figured they'd have to throw in the towel and head back to the Lone Star State. But that all changed when a fellow barbecue enthusiast heard the news. I think I was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. In an instant Tuesday on an Arkansas highway, Aaron Vogel lost the entire haul for his Texas-based barbecue team, Cackle and Oink. And coming off that bridge, the trailer began to sway a little bit, and then I caught the draft from the 18-wheeler, and it just unforgivably threw the trailer out of control. Vogel wasn't hurt, but with a totaled cooker and no supplies, he figured there'd be no way his team could compete in Memphis's World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest. I teared up a little bit. But Vogel's teammate J.R. Larson didn't give up and picked up the phone to Arkansas barbecue cooker Mike Davis. I told him, I said, well, you guys talk it over, and if you still want to get in the game, I said, I've got the old trailer out there. The Cackle and Oink team gladly took up the offer and are back in the rib contest as originally planned. I was pretty much crying on the side of the highway and, uh, you know, I didn't care. They'd do the same thing for me if I was in that predicament. Now, after a week which began in a crisis, this team hopes the weekend will end in a victory. The barbecue community is huge, uh, probably more huge than most people realize. I said, hell, if we can get over this daggum hump here, I said, you guys are on the way to the, the big stage. Now, leaders with that barbecue team also thank Memphis and May leaders as well as other barbecue teams for offering their assistance or help in any way. At 6, I'll showcase the international flavor of this event and why it truly is the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brian Broders, Local 24 News. Okay, Brad, thank you. And listen, keep three things in mind before you head downtown. First, Riverside Drive is still closed. Second, if you're not part of a team or have access to a tent, barbecue alley at the park is for the public and then last but not least there's a long list of items that you can and cannot bring which includes bad attitudes the checklist can be found in a link we posted to the find it section of our website just go to localmemphis.com and we're nearly a week away from the bicentennial finale so join us next saturday may 25th for a live two-hour primetime special celebrate memphis in association with memphis in may that primetime special begins at 8 p.m